Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Today I'll show you how to hide failed images and image grids on your Midjourney homepage. I'll show you how to delete these images, but I'll also show you how to download your images first for backup in case you want those deleted images back again later. You can extend this process to make your favorite creations private so no one will be able to see your prompts. Let's get started. Midjourney is an open place to create and share images. All the images you create grids, upscales, everything goes into your midjourney.com homepage. This includes your best work, but it also includes all your failures. You'll also see the intermediate steps, the grids, the initial uploads, and the variations before you hit on your final version. My page needs a good spring clean, so let's do it together. If you are new to Midjourney, start with this video. Join Midjourney for free. There are over a million users. Let's start by deleting our failures the grids and the images you never want to see again. These are the ones that get the puke emoji. Log in to midjourney.com and select your home page from the left-hand column. Make sure you're seeing all of your images from all of your channels. Find an image or a grid that you want to delete, or you can search for a prompt word. I know I want to get rid of this frog. Click on the three dots and open in Discord. You can also copy the job ID and in Discord type slash show and paste the job ID. In the upper right hand corner of the image space, click the emoji icon. Add a red X emoji. If you don't see it right away, just type X and it will show up. You can only delete your own images, but you'll notice that your image disappears from the messages. And in a few minutes, it will also disappear from your midjourney.com homepage. But what if you aren't so sure or want to protect yourself from accidentally deleting an image you might want in the future? We're going to start by downloading our images first. Midjourney hides the image from your homepage, but it doesn't actually delete it from the server. You can always recall it later, and I'll show you how to do that. You can put a lot of images on a little thumb drive. Find the images you plan to delete. Click the three dots and save individual images. Or go to the top and find the arrow that opens the downloader. Click as many images as you want to download. When you're finished, click Open Downloader. The images are compressed into a zip file, and when you click Download All, they're downloaded onto your computer. You also have the option to Add All. Depending on how many images you have, This may make multiple zip files. Now you can freely download without worrying you will make a mistake. If you do find that you want an image back that you've deleted, you can always recall it as long as you have the image ID number. Double click the zip file to expand it and open the folder containing your files. Find the image that you want to recall. The name of the file includes your name, the first part of the prompt, and the image ID number. Copy the image ID number. In the Midjourney server, type slash show into the message bar and paste the image ID number. The image is back again and you can work with it as normal. Now you can clean up your Midjourney homepage and curate your own feed. You can remove failures and replications, knowing that if you need an image back for some reason, you have a backup safely stored on your computer. I actually download all my images daily. Go to the archive button. This shows your images grouped by day. Click the Select button and open the downloader. Wait until the files zip together and download all. I'm a photographer and have used Lightroom for many years to organize my images. I unzip the file and import the images into Lightroom, just as I would photos. I add a Midjourney tag and import. The image title includes the first few words of the prompt, but I do take time and copy the full prompt from midjourney.com into the caption. This way I'll never forget the prompt that I use for the image. I wish I could find a faster way, but I have to do this image by image. From here I can add other keywords 
and flag and rate images just as I do photos. In Lightroom, I can study the results side by side and send the image to Photoshop and find any images, even the deleted ones, when I want them. If you don't use a digital asset management tool like Lightroom, add the prompt directly to the digital file. On a Mac, click the file and go to the File drop-down menu, Get Info, and copy the prompt into the comment section. Or open the image in Preview. Under Tools, select Show Inspector and copy the prompt as a keyword. On a PC, click the image, open the properties for the image, and go to the Details tab. And you can copy the prompt into the comment section. The prompt in Midjourney doesn't include switches, so I won't know which aspect ratio I used, and I won't know what upscale I used either. With your failures deleted and your other files safely backed up, you can clean up and curate your Midjourney homepage. Use the X emoji to delete the files from your page that you do not want to showcase. Under settings, you have some control over how your page looks. The defaults look good to me, but you do have some options in how your page displays. Click the button at the top of your page to see the page as your visitor would. You can use this same system to protect your favorite prompts too, and I'll show you how in a minute. It is much easier to make your account private, but you do pay extra for this. To make your account private, type slash private into the message bar. If you haven't subscribed to the private mode, Midjourney will give you instructions on how to do this with an easy way to subscribe. Now you can toggle between public and private, like you toggle between relaxed and fast mode. The cost isn't that much, and this is by far the easiest way to make your account private. But notice that images you post in channels can still be seen by others on the channel. But we can essentially make your account private by deleting all the images after you download them. Start by making your images and upscaling them just as usual. Then download the best version of the image. You can download your works in progress too if you want. Finally, delete all versions of the image by reacting with an X emoji. This hides both your images and prompts from view. Anyone viewing your page will see a blank screen. With a persistent workflow, you can create a free private account. Let us know if you've discovered tips to organizing your Midjourney homepage. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.